Jyoti has uh, posted one question. Thoughts are from mind and emotions are from heart. Am I right? So I replied yes. But then she has another thing like I mean electrical and magnetic signals. And I think uh, where the answer is, I think we, we say, right, thoughts are electric and feelings are magnetic. Right. And that is why. So most of the feeling, if you look at it, is more heart centric. And then I think uh, even in our uh, yogic uh, marma science, right, the heart is, is one of the portals for energy. So we feel, and, and then some some of them say heart is the seat of the soul, right? So we are connected to consciousness, universal consciousness through the heart. So yeah, heart is magnetic. And I think uh, what is the question? Thoughts and uh, thoughts are from mind. Yeah, so as we see, uh, initially the, the initial uh, findings or belief of neuroscientists was that thoughts were always from the brain, right? And then feelings were of the body. But thoughts, emotions, feelings... Later, uh, they've discovered every cell has an intelligence. Every cell has a mind of its own. Every cell has its own, uh, uh, if you will, uh, the brain cells, neurons, right? So the body, the mind, the thoughts, emotions, and feelings are throughout your body. Mind is not restricted to the brain. Your body is your mind. Your, uh, every cell has a mind of itself, right? So you can't distinguish. But again, yeah, feelings are magnetic. That's what they say. You attract uh, what you are or what you feel, not what you think, right? Because thinking has an effect. Like today we saw the chart, how thinking ultimately translates to those hormones and neurochemicals, which allow you to feel the country. Similarly, feeling generates the, the, the appropriate, if, you are, if you feel very miserable and dis, distressed, automatically those kind of thoughts keep recurring. It's, it's a cycle. And the moment we are conscious of it, we are ready to break. 